What's up guys, Alex B here today and I'm gonna do a tutorial on uh, how to install macOS Leopard on an iBook G4 without a disc. Now, uh, just to prove it, if we start up my laptop, I'll show you that it's running 10.4.11 uh, and um, because I don't have a Leopard disc because they're like so hard to find, like for example, let's look them up right now. E. That's starting up. <laughs> Mac OS 10.5. Like, look at this 30 bucks, 32 bucks, 35, 69, 149. That's bogus, right? So. I decided to do as I torrented it. Now this is legal. I'll put it in the um, description below, as you can see right there. I'm gonna log in here. Logging in. Up. Ironic, ain't it? Let's see. As you can tell there, and if I go. Right for everything to load here. It's gonna mount all my desktop drives. See, it's mounting everything for my uh, desktop. Well, it's trying to anyway. About this Mac. Let me zoom in on it. See, 10.4.11, 1.23 gigahertz, 768 megs. I gotta zoom out again. Now, I'll put the link in the description where you can find this uh, Mac OS 10. Come on, focus. Install dvd.iso. Keep it in ISO, and when you download it on a Windows PC, transfer it to a flash drive. Now, keep in mind, you have to format it as a FAT32. I mean, not FAT32, NTFS drive, and um, drag the ISO from your download location onto the drive. Take it over here. Now I'm not going to do this again, but you're going to go, after you get it there, you're going to drag it off the flash drive into your desktop. And then you're going to open Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. You're going to click on the flash drive, OS 10 install for me, you're going to hit Erase, OS uh, Extended Journal. <laughs> Pardon me. After it's formatted, you're going to go restore and you're going to drag your uh, disk image to the top one and the flash drive to that one. If you want to, just for just to make sure it's erased, you can click erase destination and it'll take about 20 minutes to restore the whole thing. I'm not going to do that again. So, okay, next thing you got to do is back up everything, obviously. Then you're going to, if you want to force restart the thing, you're going to go. Control, Command, Power. Now, powers. Now you're gonna go. Uh, Command Option, O F. You gotta hold it down after it bongs. Now it's gonna boot. It'll boot into open firmware. Now I gotta pull up the code that you're supposed to type in. You're gonna type in. Boots U D. I'll zoom in a little bit there. Boot U D colon comma. I don't know why it's not focusing. Uh backslash backslash colon. TBXI. That's the code. There it is. Then, watch this. Hit enter to look for the flash drive. And it's going to boot from the drive. Now, it'll take a couple of minutes, just so you know. So, I'll be back once it loads. Okay, so 
there you go. It's loaded up again. I don't know why. I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus. Give my camera a second. So you go Mac OS, you're going to choose your installation, click install. See? Mac OS Leopard. You're going to go to Utilities. And Disk Utility. You're going to find your uh, hard drive. Erase. We'll name it iBook HD. There you go. And erase. And erase. Alright, it erased. Get out of there. Continue. And it's pretty much straightforward from here. Um, I'm gonna click it. Options if you want to. <clears throat> Continue. Customize if you want. I'm not gonna need any of this printer drivers. Except HP because the printers at school are HP. Language translations. The only thing I really need is Spanish. Done. There you go. Pretty much straightforward. So, uh, let it install, then do your thing. So, till next time, thank you very much for watching. Alex, be out.